Welcome, pilots. Cosmos Kramer is in Lursatum, about to talk to Avru Oz. This video will take you through the first Galent Cosmos mission chain, so if you don't want to be spoiled, best to click away. In my next video, I'll guide you through where to find all the Cosmos agents in the Elgintal constellation. As we can see, Avru's first task for us was to retrieve a signed copy of the Galent graduation certificate. Bézan Picolin. Ah, so you're a qualified pilot, eh? I have some work for you, after all. Since you're so eager to work for me, I would like to start off our relationship by explaining a few critical details. And apparently I neglected to scroll down in the right-hand window while filming this. Something to keep in mind for future Cosmos missions, I guess. Here are the details Evru sneakily gave us, courtesy of the EVE University Wiki. I am Evru Oz, agent of Bézan Picolin. I came to Chandil, Lersantin V, eight years ago, during the height of the picolin aubert family feud. Denis Picolin hired me as Bazan's secretary and financial manager. The Picolin family is quite wealthy, having long owned a number of franchises connected with Cala Quixota and their wares. Anyway, the feud was quite draining on the Picolins, especially their wallet. But the biggest disaster the family had ever faced came only a few years ago. It was a dreadfully cold afternoon during the height of the Chabosh winter on Chandil when I received the news that a Picolin industrial had been caught by planetary security forces, trying to smuggle a troop of slaves and illegal combat boosters into Namin City. Speculation had it that the slaves were to be used as cheap manpower in a secret military operation directed against Abur, named after its ancient ruling family. To me, this seizure of assets was bad enough. But to make matters far worse, my employer, Bizan, was directly implicated in the deal, for the industrial smuggling the contraband had been rented in his name. It was a debacle. Calakiota cancelled their multi-million isk deal with Picolin, and the governor of Chandil placed a huge fine on the family that has basically crippled its financial status. In other words, the Picolin lost everything other than their name and sovereignty over Namin City. Most of their lands were confiscated, as well as their overseas bank accounts. I'm a bit surprised you haven't heard this story, in fact. It was all over the Federation media at the time. But anyway, to cut the story short, Bizan was imprisoned in Pinmouth, an infamous Federation prison facility in Lursatin, and resides there still. It is my firm belief, however, that Bizan is really innocent, and that's why I sent for someone like you. Your first task is to raid a merchant operating a small trade hub in Meves. He's known to have dealings with the Auber family. He was, in fact, their first contact when they started expanding their trade relations outside of Lursatin to compete with the Picolin. It is my firm belief that the Aubers have something to do with the smuggling incident that resulted in Bazan's arrest. Yes, I believe he was framed. The merchant's name is Kalmalur Delbon. Interrogate him for me. Find a way to make him reveal what he knows about the incident. Once you have something, report back to me. And we're off to help Avru find evidence of her employer's innocence. It's the ballad of Bazan Picolet. Looks like some security enforcers are guarding the entrance. They'll have to be taken care of. No guards left. Let's take the gate to Kelmuller's trade hub. How'd you get by the guards? Leave this instant or my mercenaries will take care of you. Oh no. 
Security Enforcer Elites? Are we done for? All right, with security out of the way, let's have a look around. Ah, Kelmiller's warehouse. Maybe the evidence Avru is looking for is in there. Some transaction documents. Yep, this is what Avru wanted. These documents will have to do. Let's see if we can find anything in here that connects Kelmiller to the crime. The documents you retrieved reveal nothing about the industrial. However, what interests me is that Kelmler appears to have sold a large number of illegal boosters to a member of FedMart, located in Gel. Interestingly, these boosters are identical to the ones found inside the industrial that was caught by the planetary security forces on Shandil. Yes, a very interesting find indeed. I want you to fly to the FedMart station in Gel. I have an acquaintance there who will supply me with records of transactions at that station. Perhaps they will lead us to whoever bought these boosters from Kelmler Delbone. And we're off to gather up some FedMart reports. Clearly, this is the sort of thing you should have to retrieve in person, and not, you know, sent electronically. Thank you. All right, let's see. Hmm, interesting. Hmm, oh my goodness! These records explicitly mention a man by the name of... Mammal! No, surely it can't be. Mamogur? The Mamogur? Amazing, even if this clue turns out to be a dead end. At the very least, we have uncovered evidence of criminal activity on one of the more powerful men in every shore. Good work, Cosmos Kramer. I'd like you to pay Mamogur a visit. You might find him near the moon of Lursatan 6. My sources claim that he frequents that place. See if you can scrounge up evidence linking him with the incident Bazan's rotting in jail for. If Mamo's playing any part of this, why, I'll drag his name so far through the dirt he'll move to Fountain and live as a hermit. But let's give him something Bazan certainly could have used during his trial. The luxury of being innocent until proven guilty. Watch out, Mamo! Cosmos Kramer is coming to pay you a visit. Well, there's Mamo flying a Megathron. I don't have time for simpletons. Either leave me be, or show me a good reason why I should waste my time on you. Looks like I'll need to show him those FedMart reports. I guess I left them in the station. Have a look at these, Mamo. Okay, you have my attention, but don't think for a moment that your little plan has any chance of success. In these parts, I am practically above the law. You can go right ahead and report your findings to the authorities. Little good it will do you. But before you leave, you might want to consider a proposition I have. If you do a certain job for me, then I will give you what you seek. The choice is yours. So let me get this straight. You want me to tell you what I did with the boosters that I supposedly bought through my connections in FedMart? No problem as long as you do something for me. You rub my back, I rub yours. There is a certain commodity I am after, which is extremely hard to acquire. It's virtually undetectable with the current sensors used by the customs officials, and is highly illegal if you get my drift. It so happens that I know where a few units of this commodity are stashed. In fact, I've configured the gateway located behind my ship to send you there. It's being guarded, of course, but that's why I need you. Bring me what I need, and I'll give you the information you've been looking for. Deal? Uh, sure, Mammo, because your Megathron is clearly more fragile than my Tristan. So, Mammo wants me to find some Crash Ultra for him. Feel like Walter White from Breaking Bad. I wonder if Mammo will be disappointed if his Crash has a blue tint to it. Hmm, almost crashed right into that asteroid. 
So much for being a graduate of a prominent aerospace aviation school. And here are the guards. Drones out! Here's the crash that Mamo wanted. Good job. Now for the information Avru Oz was after. Don't be so hasty, Cosmos Kramer. There's always a catch, you know. All you have to do is transport the commodity to the FedMart storage facility in gel. I need an analyze there in our lab. Plus you'll make a good test dummy to see if it actually works against the customs officials at the Stargates. Once the item is in your hangar there, then I will reward you with the information you seek. And I do hope you'll never show your face in my territory again after this is over. Comprende? Cosmos Kramer, drug dealer extraordinaire. All right, here you go. Bring this data chip to Avru. It will explain everything I know about her situation. Aha! According to this message, Elard Anstey purchased the boosters from Mam Ogur. Elard is a long-time associate of the Aburr family. Now I think we're finally getting somewhere. Okay, it's time to pay Elard Anstey a visit. I'd like you to bring him here. I really need to have a chat with him. He must know something about the crime, and it's essential that we acquire this information. You may use any means necessary. You'll receive a sizable reward for your efforts, of course, and I'll see to it that the authorities don't get involved. I will supply you with a bookmark to Anstey's whereabouts. Fortunately for us, he owns a small piece of space here in Lursatan, set within a dead space pocket. You'll have to navigate through a few checkpoints due to warp disruption, but I'm sure you can convince the guards to let you through. I won't pull any punches here, Cosmos Kramer. This may be quite dangerous. Good luck! Nothing quite like putting spoilers right in the objectives. Off to find Delard, or at least his rotting, maggot-ridden corpse. Sorry, sir, but we're closed to the public. Unless you know the code, I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to leave the perimeter. Hmm, I bet the code is 12345. Same code I use on my luggage. Guess not. Some drones will have to do instead. And off to the first gate we go. More guards, more drones.
gate number two. Yet more guards. Gate number three. Looks like the number of guards keeps dwindling. And the shocker of the hour. Elard's dead. You found Serpentis there along with Elard's corpse? Oh my, it's getting very hot in here suddenly, don't you find? <clears throat> Give me a few minutes while I'll have the computer in our med lab perform a quick scan of Elard's remains. The results of the autopsy scan show that Elard was killed by a blaster at close range, most likely by the Serpentis goons who were waiting for you when you arrived. However, I did find an interesting bit of data in his comp plant. The Serpentis probably hadn't got to extracting it when you showed up, so I was able to recover his data journal entries. Most of the information was useless, if mildly entertaining, but one very recent bit of memscript reads, Meet Govard at 1800 hours. Now I might be reaching a little here, but perhaps this Govard was one of the Serpentis you killed earlier. Maybe he was the person in Lard was due to meet. Certainly a difficult theory to prove, but I have an idea. I want you to pay a visit to Anya and pick up a package from a Navy data technician there. The records are off-limits to non-Navy personnel, for they contain extensive data on their Serpentis. But I have a contact working there who should be able to do the research for me. He owes me one, and this is as good a time as any to pay up. And we're off to retrieve a data chip. They seriously need to invest in some secure data transmission technologies in New Eden. And we've grabbed the data chip, back to Evru. Excellent. One minute while I take a look at this data. The data you retrieved revealed that this Govard is indeed a member of the Serpentis organization, and is wanted by Concord for a number of offenses. He was last seen in Lursatan, which could explain his meeting here with Elard. Now we can only hope that he wasn't one of the Serpentis you killed during your retrieval of the Lard's corpse. But I think we can assume Govard is alive until we receive evidence to prove otherwise. The Navy database has no record of his death. I have a bookmark that should lead you to a luxury resort in Lursatan that has been under investigation for quite some time as a secret drug manufacturing op. Not yet proven, of course, but the interesting part is that Govard has been sighted there frequently by civilians staying at the resort. I want you to snoop around and search for any clues that might lead us to him. Off to pay this luxury resort a visit. The Helton Luxury Resort. Rent-a-dream pleasure gardens, eh? Lots of guards, better handle them first.
All right, no sign of Govard showing up on the outside of the resort. I guess I'll have to convince him to come out. Calling all innocent patrons of the luxury resort. I'm looking for a serpentis goon known as Govard. Show yourself, Govard. Ah, there he is. Now for some hot Tristan on Tristan action. Gotcha, Govard. Avru Oz wants to have some words with you. Magnificent, you have him. I'll make sure he spends the rest of his days behind bars unless he can reveal anything of importance concerning the crime Bazan was imprisoned for. And so completes the Ballad of Bazan Pigolet. This gives us a small standings gain with the Galent Federation. This is typical for level 1 missions, whether they come from a Cosmos agent or regular agents. In general, you actually want to be running the highest level missions that you have standing for, and are capable of handling. In the next video, I'll guide you through where to find all the Cosmos agents in the El Gintel constellation. After that, I'll be splitting up these videos according to agent type and difficulty. I also plan to create a spoilery summary video at the end that can be used as a reference for the entirety of the Galent Cosmos missions. Thank you for watching my Galent Cosmos mission guide. If you enjoy my content, please let me know in the comments or by subscribing to my channel. The more I'm aware that people are watching, the more likely I'll be to make time to continue producing content. You might also be interested in my spoiler-free playthrough of the Galent Epic Arc. If PvP content is more your thing, I also periodically post videos from CAS Combat Day events. Or if you want to get some insight into my peculiar sense of humor, head over to my other channel, Totally Over the Top Fake News, to watch parodies of the mainstream media. Thanks again, and hope to see you back soon.